Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's stream. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have an everyone yet, but welcome to tonight's stream. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. I'll probably have to say this multiple times, but uh, let's go ahead and jump on the Xbox and let's see what we can get ourselves into today. So, yeah. Here we go, people. Yes, I do. Uh, hang on. Just go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so the new Mustang is in Forza Horizon 5. So we're going to get that customized. And then we're going to do a little tier list and decide what the best Ford car in Forza Horizon 5 is. Uh, based on my preferences. I got a list of cars we'll go through. But we're going to decide, is the new Mustang my favorite Ford car ever? So we'll just have to see what we get ourselves into. Ooh. That's loud. For me, it's loud. Thank you for testing the links. And, uh, Brian, you better be excited because this should get interesting and chaotic. And we need to decide if those links actually work. But here we go. So let's just run this cruise around Welcome for a little back, bit. Welcome back, Cody. And drive what I consider my favorite Mustang, but we'll see. Uh... Get a few more people on here, and then we'll start, uh, we'll start, uh, deciding what our favorite- Whoa! Yeah! That sounds good. Whoa! That thing is intense. Blowing up the comment section. So yeah, we're gonna jump into that new Mustang uh, in a minute here, and then we're gonna decide if it's the best. We're gonna be doing a lot of racing. That got that got any control over this volume? God, it's loud. Yeah, we got volume control. Okay. Cactus, no. Smack this, yeah. Okay. So, man, this thing sounds good. <laughs> Supercharger for days. But yeah, the, I really like the new Mustang. I think they killed it with the design. And so, uh, I guess we should get straight into the new Mustang then. After we. Okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Alright. Cactus. Cactus smack this. Alright, here we go. Uh, cars. Bye. Yeah, this car, we had to work together as a team. Everyone in, in, uh, this game had to work together as a team to unlock it. And, uh, I helped a little bit, so... Uh, I guess you got. I guess you gotta be outside the garage. Outside the garage. Let's see. Uh, where do we do that again? Oh, message center. News. No. Gifts, right? Yay! I gotta download a couple of these. So we got that. Yep. We got this. We got two cars actually to check out tonight. They're brand new to the game. And so I figured we'd start out with some 
basic customization because I want to pin all these cars against each other in a fair manner. So I'm, I'm, let me show you what we're working with. So uh, I got my tier list and we're going to fill this tier list in and uh, at the bottom is 20 of my favorite Fords and we're going to go through and put them on the list. But I want to do some basic customization to the new cars. We're going to try to keep the performance stock, but uh, we will uh, just see what happens. Alright, let's see. I'm getting my garage here. My cars. Eh, uh, Ford. This is like the best update they ever had in this game. You know me and my Fords. Looking good. So let me get my mouse over here. On the wrong side of my screen. Okay. Now we're going to be ready. Alright. Here we go. I don't, I don't want to be in that mode. Let's go into the regular view mode okay so I'm not gonna lie to you I actually have a write-up on the side screen over here that I'm gonna read uh, with some interesting facts and information about the uh, 2024 Mustang GT so I'll jump and just read it straight off it will see if I'm very fluent at reading tonight the 2024 Ford Mustang is very special this is the seventh generation of the Ford Mustang. It is the longest continual running nameplate muscle car ever. The Corvette is second to it, but even it skipped a year. Uh, this is the only car to last through the hard times and the good times of the car market. They didn't have to kill the Mustang for any reason. It stuck around when the economy dropped, and it even made it through the previous oil crisis to that. The 2024 Ford Mustang is sticking to its roots with the 5 liter V8 that's still here, still being offered. This is the only muscle car to still have a V8 engine, and the only muscle car, period. Because the Challenger's gone, the Charger's gone, the Camaro's gone. So anyway, uh, the new Mustang is, sticking to, is going back to its roots. With more aggressive styling and a fighter jet interior, uh, the outside of the Mustang started getting really round and weird, so they they tightened it up a little bit. Uh, they even brought the fun back to the Mustang when an electronic e-brake designed and tested by Von Gittin Jr. I think that's really good, but I think there's going to be more crowd problems. Uh, I previously mentioned the fact that the 5-liter engine is still in the Mustang, but it's also the most powerful 5 liter V8 they ever made with two throttle bodies. And I'm excited for this car and we need to get customized now. Enough enough blabbing around. Let's let's get back to the customization here. After I pulled my internet. Okay. So this car I know has uh, some good customization. So we're gonna have to take a look at it. Uh Let's see. How do we, uh. Forza Vista? I don't even know how to do that now that I'm in the car. Mmm. Okay, we're, we're just not even dealing with that. Okay. So, upgrades and tuning. Yeah. Sometimes Twitch is delayed. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, custom upgrades. Let's see, what does it sound like? <laughs> Let me, I ain't upgrading it, but... Yes, they got the sound right. Yep. Yeah. So let's let's just do some basic customization. We want to keep this mainly stock. So when I pull out of here, we uh, 
have some stuff. So we got the wide body. Oh my gosh. We'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> Everyone's been doing the wide body from what I can see on YouTube. Here we go. You know what? Let's just keep it completely stock. Let's, uh... So my plan is we're going to do a race to each of these cars. And we'll figure out what the best one is. So we'll get started with this car. Let's see what kind of racing we'll get into. Oh, this will be dark. Holy crap. That's definitely a Mustang. So let me go down here. And everyone's hanging out the night on Forza. Okay. Let's see what kind of race we want to do at this point. So, uh... So we want to do a road race. Let's see, we want something with some straights. Is this one any good? Um... I don't do races too much. So that one kind of... Curves through there. What's this one? Uh, no, I don't like that one. Hmm. Do we have one that like goes through these tunnels? No, that one goes the wrong way. Oh man, they need one that goes down the highway or through the tunnels or something. Let's see. Does anyone know of any good race to do? Probably not. Ooh. Let's see. This one might work. No! No, 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 no. We're not going that way. Okay, no. I like this one over here. Where, where, where did it go? It was one of these over here. Was it this one? Nope. Man! I found a race and I just skipped right over it. Um, it. Okay. Let's just make it easier on ourselves. Road racing. No. Yes, that's the one we want. I think this will be a good one. Let's make a, let's set us up a little race here. Open to anything. Um, where is the other stuff? Okay. We're going to do 11 cars. We're going to do hot. We're going to do dry season. Uh time of day we want to do we want to do just sun we want we want early, early afternoon we want sunny okay fixed what class was this car anyway all right all right here we go Let's see how this one drives. Start off with the new Mustang. Kuntage. What is that thing? What even are we racing? I might need to turn the difficulty up for the next one. But so far it seems relatively fast. 
It seems controllable. It's not quite as slippery as the uh, previous Mustang Mistake. It seems to be driving really good. It sounds really good. I think we're going to have to keep that engine in here tonight. So the performance so far is really good. I'm enjoying driving it. I usually have a hard time and don't enjoy driving, but this, this thing drives good. I even forgot to turn my traction control on. It's pretty grippy for a Mustang. Oh, there's the Mustang. Oh, it tried to go for that crowd. So there's a running joke that Mustangs are crowd killers because people don't know how to control them. And uh, at, at uh, car shows, they try to leave aggressively. End up hitting curbs or going straight for the crowds. So Mustang has got its reputation as being a crowd killer now. And it drives really nice. I can actually do some racing with this thing. Ooh. Wall. Ouch. Well, we were doing good. So I'd give the performance on that car about a 10. I would legitimately give it a 10. Because I could drive it without traction control on. By the way, at Twitch, I do have a little bit of a delay turned on. I probably don't need it, but that's probably what some of the problem is. So we got the performance, and I would say about a 10. Um, but let's go back to the uh, place and see how I feel about the customization. Let's see. And if y'all can, load YouTube and Twitch up with as many comments as possible. I'm trying to test some things. I don't care if it's just blah blah blah. <laughs> Alright, custom upgrades. So, it looks really good. What kind of upgrades can we do? Okay, that. And you can do the wing. But none of that really fits. I think everyone's done it, but we have to check it out. So there's a very special version of the new Mustang called the uh, Mustang... Um, oh my gosh, I lost it. What's it called? The... Uh, <laughs> GTD, the Mustang GTD. And it's a very special Mustang. And it's basically a supercar. And it looks pretty crazy. And lucky enough, the game dropped it. It looks just like it. So, we can throw that on there. Um, we do a wing. So, there's many wing options. You got uh, whatever's on there. You got these two wings, the Forza wing. Really, this wing is the one that fits the design. Like, it looks like a GTD. But I really don't like it. So, with this one. Okay. That looks pretty good. Some wheels. Uh, seven... Where, what's that brand called? We'll find it. It's like the brand, like you see on Mustangs. Let's see. Oh, no. What is that? There it is. 1552s. Alright. Um, thing is, I'm not. Ooh. I can get behind those. I do think we need 
a little bigger wheel. 20 sounds good in the front. 21 in the rear. 21 in the rear looks good. And we want wide tires. Wide. Super wide tires. And I promise you, I'm not going to design mine like everyone else does. Um, I'm going to break a rule here. And we're going to throw some Forza tires on it because I think it looks cool. And that's about it with that. Um, then we can do like racing brakes. And I'm going to get to all that later. I don't really feel like getting into that too much right now. Because we've got a lot to do. We need to put some race suspension on get lowered. Oh man, that looks really good. It needs a full cage for doing this. Okay. So we got the looks. And as far as performance, you got all of your regular performance stuff. Uh, we're not going to get into it too much. I just want to hear what this... What, what? So, stock. Sport. Race. Yeah, stock is the best. So yeah, we got that. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. We're just we're just making it look pretty right now because we got a lot of cars to work our way through, and this is just the start. Okay, uh, now let's just see what kind of paint jobs people have made. Uh, I'm not gonna make my own right now, but uh, when are we doing there? Ooh, I like the green. I just barely got here. Oh no, there's an anime one. The Celine's pretty sick. In fact, I have a design for that later. Um, we got Roush. What else do the people make? We're gonna do this car. This car. Let's see what... This will give us more of a selection. Um, the Eleanor Tribute. That's cool. Got the green uh, Ford Performance racing paint job. I have a feeling a lot of people want to do that. Uh, I'm really liking that first one. Someone made a dark horse. Yeah, there's some pretty good stuff, but... Someone already did the design I wanted to do. That's going to be the one, like, like what's going to end up probably being. Um... Load, load, load. I, I have one picked out if it'll just load. Yeah, this one. We'll do this one. Yeah, that's an awesome one. What? Someone took it down? Man, it looked good. Now I gotta look. Dark Mystachrome. That's pretty cool. Man, that, that was a really good design. Got a police car. Got, uh... Man, there's not a good one. So I guess... We're gonna close my eyes. That one. I don't like the red wheels, though. Let's just go full Ford performance on it. So I give the customization on this car about a, a maybe like a seven or an eight because it, it's not that configurable. Yes, we got the wide body and a couple wings, but some cars have a lot of different parts. And so I think it's time to throw this car on the tier list okay so we gave it a 10 for performance we gave it a 7 for customization it drives nice I mean it's a really good car so let me see where's my pointer on my I get so tired of my keyboard okay Where, where's my pointer once we get the point there we go okay tier list Alright, here we go. So, the new Ford Mustang. See, where is it at on my tier list? No, 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 no. Yeah, right here. So, 
This one can either be an A tier or S tier. Uh, the thing starts from the bottom, works its way up. So S would be the best, and D would be the worst. So it's either gonna be, it's gonna be S or A. Any, mini, miny, mo. I'll give the chat delay a couple of seconds here. I'm thinking A. Um, of course, people can help me later, but I think A is a good spot. I think S is really going to be hard for any car to make that. So, that's where we're sticking that one. Alright. Any objections, anybody? Oh. Okay. So, that was the uh, new Ford Mustang. That's A the tier on my list. And that's what we're going to go for with that one. So, uh, let's move on to the next car. The next car is brand new, too. So, in the next Ford, we're going to check out... I'm a little late to the party, but we're going to check it out anyway. So, we got the F-150 Raptor R. And... I didn't have a whole write-up for this car. But basically, the Ford Raptor originally come out with a V8 engine. And that was their first generation. And what years, it went, it lasted for a few years and it was killed for a little bit. And then they brought the Raptor, second gen Raptor out. And to many people's dismay, they're upset because it only came with a turbocharged V6. So they're upset and only turbocharged V6. A truck has to have a V8 motor. They're like. And so they carried on. People kind of got over it. And then they come out with the third generation Ford Raptor. And it too had a twin turbo V6. Everyone was pretty darn upset at this moment. And um, they're like, we need the V8. We need the V8. So Ram comes out with the TRX. A 700 horsepower Hellcat powered truck and it was just insane and Ford's like okay okay we'll bring the V8 back and we're going to stomp the TRX and they come out and they built a lighter more nimble truck and it is basically uh, an insult to the uh, TRX but yeah pretty good looking truck I mean, we got Raptor in the game, but uh, I heard somewhere that the Raptor in the game, they only gave us crew cabs, and now they're giving us a, they finally gave us a super cab, I guess. I guess that's what he called us, with the two big doors instead of the big door and like a slightly smaller door. Anyway, let's see what we can do with this thing. So I guess we'll do the same thing that we did with the other one. We're going to drive it just like this, and then we'll come back and see what kind of customization this thing has. So let's let's get it out on the road. We'll take it on the dirt. Oh, I'm glad. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Holy cow. Okay, let's... We just have to do a little sound test. That is intense. Oh, here we go. Right, the tunnel's this way, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And you sell that taco. And get your raptor. Alright, here we go. I don't know how to adjust the sound like some people do, but I'll be quiet. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, that's it. It's going to tin for sound. That thing sounds so good. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay. This sounds good. All right, let's go to a race. Let's see. We need a race. We want dirt and cross country. Wait, why did it? It's so all and none. All right, dirt, cross country. Is there anything else that we need to be? No. So we got. I, I kind of want to do cross country. I feel like it would do very good. I think the volcano one. Ooh. Could be spicy. Yeah, let's let's do this one. I like driving down the volcano in these races. It don't appear my thing's working still quite the way I want. Enter. Nope. I don't remember how you do it. So we're here. Enter event. Solo. Yeah, there it is. Anything goes. Open race. Um. Dry season. How oh, does that what we want? Okay. 11 season. Let's do wet. Um, let's do morning. Early afternoon sounds good. Clear. Overcast. Heavy precipitation. Fixed. Okay. Okay, we got a good race. We can test this truck. This will be intense. 700 horsepower, no traction control. We're racing down the side of the volcano in the rain. Sounds like a skill issue <laughs> or something. Oh my gosh, it's raining hard. This is going to be bad. your puny little cars. So far so good. It's not like hopping all over the place or anything. Sometimes they do that in these off-road races. But this thing is fast. Oh, oh. I looked at the dangerous... Oh my god. My, my view is bad. Okay. I like this one better. Tree! Tree! Go, 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 go! Ow! Go! That was my fault. That was a driving issue. Go, go, go. So it's pretty controllable, even in the rain, as long as I'm concentrating good. It sounds so good. It drives nice. So I give it a, like a eight for driving. I give it a ten on sound. Whoa! That was some air right there. Whoa! 
this truck is sketchy. Oh my goodness. Okay, driving is still saying eight. It hasn't gotten any better. Okay. Of course, I'm not going to do a very good benefit of the doubt. Capability is a 10. I'd say it's really capable. We're going. No, stop, stop, stop. I did it again. I did it again. Oh. There's no tree, luckily. We're going. Send it the raptor. Did y'all see that video when the first raptor come out? And they like jumped it 30 feet in the air. And they wondered why it broke. No. Oh, I can't get beat by a Honda Civic. No. Turn. No. Go, 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 go. There ain't no way. Ain't no way. Go. I got beat by a Honda Civic. I'm just embarrassed. Ugh. What is it trying to do? I don't want it to keep people from using caps. Yeah, that was fun. It looks like I need to fix some stuff in my comments. Okay. Um, so we did that. Now let's head back and see what kind of customization parts we got. Um... Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> That's just stupid. So there's no wide body kit. We got the supercharger and the turbos. But look, it looks like, woo. Got some fog lights. Rough bumper. Ooh. We got the yellow and orange. And we got the white. I like that. Spoiler! So we can do roof lights on this one. Uh, two different kinds of roof lights. We can, ooh, we can put a tent on the back. And then, whatever the heck that is. Okay. I like the round ones a lot. I mean, it kind of counteracts the square ones on the front of the grill. Uh, we got uh, some bumpers here. Ooh, I, f I feel like this one... These two are cool, but this one fits this better. Oh, look at that. That's insane. We're just going for looks. We can make it taller. Ooh. Uh, we can make it lighter. And we can make it stiffer. <laughs> taller, bigger, lighter, and stiffer. That's what... That's what we need. Uh, we want wide tires on this thing. Um, we want fat tires. This thing comes like 37s on it already. And, um, but you can make them bigger. I don't know why. Oh, it looks like that truck that we were talking about a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And honestly, it doesn't need a paint job. It looks good. So that one, we need to get our tier list out. Um, let's get out. Uh, let's get this where we can see it, though. So the Raptor. Let's, let's see where, where it fits in on my list over here. tier list. Okay. Uh, 
All right, Raptor R, where are you at? Here we go. So A, I think it's still way above B. We got S and A, but I think it has more going for it. It's more capable. It's faster. It's not faster. It's more capable. It sounds good. It has good customization. You can do a little bit of everything with it. So I think it's going S. S tier. Yay for the Raptor. Got S tier. S tier for the Raptor. First car in S tier. No. Now is where we're going to get down and dirty. Um, let's just go ahead and take out the, uh, while we're at the new cars, let's take out the, um, the Terminator. I haven't raced it at all. I think it might have a few upgrades, but, uh, we're not going to really care about that too much because we'll be here all night. Uh, where are you at? Way down here. Yes. It's just a good looking car. It is just a good looking car. This thing's gonna be a handful. Jenny, Madison, how it goes. Sorry if uh, my comment thing times you out. I need to fix that. So we're gonna just do road races. Road racing, road racing. I feel like street racing though is where this car is meant to be. No. Let's do, uh, something. Yeah, let's do this. Because it's new. Let's see, what can we do? So, I guess we're just not changing it. I feel like it looks like a good street race car. We're gonna keep everything the same. No traction control, no nothing. Holy crap! Oh my goodness. Okay, driving so far. I give it like a six or a seven. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, we're going with like a five or a six on driving. It's fast, but it doesn't corner. Whoa. Yeah, we're going with five. Corvette, move! Ah! 
Oh my gosh. There goes the foul left. Sorry, I got some power up. Okay, we're doing good again. We're doing good again. This thing is a handful. Go, 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 go. Gap that Corvette. This thing is hard to drive. My beloved Mustang is not doing good. I'm so disappointed. Why is this car so disappointing in this game? I like it so much, but in this game... It just is slow without some upgrades. Luckily, the other day I gave us a supercharger upgrade. Nothing too crazy, but. And now it's just sliding all over the place. Lack of traction. If you're uh, watching on Twitch, please give me a follow. Even if you never watch me again, please give me a follow. I'm trying to get to 50. I need to get to 50 followers. So if you would like the help please uh follow me so we got a five for uh drivability here oh it just doesn't drive good like in any way it can do some sick donuts though I think this car is just a fun option. I think it's just a fun option. Um, yeah, here we go. So we're gonna quickly go over the customization again, even though I did it the other day. Um, so, so I got it looking the way I want and performing the way I want, but we got the turbo upgrades. We got several engine options. We got all the stuff to turn it into a Celine Mustang. But why would you do that? I don't know. That's why I need multiple of these cars. But yeah, you can do all that. Um, it has all the same wheels and all that stuff. Uh, it has all the suspension you want drift and that. And it even has the tire thickness. So you can do the thickness to make it look like a drag car. So I think customization is probably like a 9 or a 10. Because it's pretty configurable. But uh, besides that, I don't think it has a whole lot going for it in performance. So let's throw it up on the list and see where we land. Oh, I just wish... So we're, we're basing these off the game. Not necessarily my real life choice. But uh, what the game says, so... Let me get my tier list up for you guys. And we'll see where we put this one. Even though I'm pretty sure I know. So. Where is it at? Let's see. Right here. So. It's either A or B. It might be my first. I just can't throw it lower than B. Because it's one of my favorite Mustangs. But I think it lands itself right at B class. Like, right at the B tier. Oh, I wish it would have done so much better. Now let's see, what car are we going to do next? Um, let's do its, it's, it's uh, bigger brother. We're going to do the uh, Cobra R next. Where are we at? Where's Twitch? Okay, Streamlabs, I mean. Okay, here we go. Let's get the next car ready to go. So that car... Eh. <laughs> it 
it just didn't perform the way I want it. So now, now we're getting out of the new cars and going to some other cars. So we're going to put this car back to normal because I know it's a lot of upgrades. So we're going to, I'm going to bring this thing back to stock so you can see what it looks like. These cars are crazy cool. Uh, reset default. We're just trying to give it a fair run. It don't look like it's working right. Um, now let's, we're just going to make it look the way it's supposed to. All right, here we go. So, all right, let's 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 look at this card, and I'll tell you a little something. So I don't have a lot of information once again off the top of my head on this car, but uh, it is the Cobra R. It's like a race spec series thing that Ford did, and they built these cars, and basically you could drive them to the racetrack and then race them against each other. And they built these, I believe they were street legal, straight from the factory. And fun fact, we go to the Late Mall Restoration Cruise Inn at Texas Motor Speedway here in Texas. And they line up, I'd say like 10 of these things. And they take pictures. It's such a rare car, but I get to see a lot of them every year. So let's let's see what this one sounds like real quick and then we'll get out out here. Pretty good sound test for naturally aspirated. Yeah. So let's 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 get this thing out. This was made alongside the Terminator. And so So it's doing good. Why are we in the dirt? Oh, it sounds good. Oh, man. That's going to be up there on the sound test. Oh, by the way, they all were red. That's the only color they came in. Was red. So, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the merch link isn't working just right. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's find this. I think we need a circuit race. Uh. Let's just do the one we're at because I, I particularly like this track. And we'll see how it does. So it better be better than than the uh, Terminator because I really like this body style of Mustang. I think it's just so cool. It looks so mean and aggressive. It's kind of spins the tires a lot off the line. But once you get going, it just kind of puts the power down and goes. Bye bye, Terminator. Bye bye. Yeah. It drives good. It's significantly better than the Terminator. I would say uh, maybe like a 7. Because it's still kind of uncontrollable a little bit. It's a lot of power going to the rear tires, a lot of torque. So it just kind of spins them up. Ooh, 
Gold tar is smoke. Oh, almost lost it. But yeah, so far so good. Good clean driving here. We're hauling the mail. Man, this thing is good. Okay, we're like at an eight now on handling. It just, it just is good. It just drives good. I like it a lot. It's a big hit queen online. Man, all my friends, they're active tonight on, on Xbox. We're doing good. I'm really digging it. It's it's almost like driving the new Mustang. But I have a feeling we're gonna have some problems with this car in a minute. The circuit race takes a little longer. I didn't think about that. Whoa. I promise I didn't cheat. Hi, you're distracting me. This thing drives pretty smooth. By the way, if you're on Twitch, please follow me. I'm at 23 followers right now. I need to get to 50. So if you can help me get 25 tonight, I would be greatly appreciative. Even if you don't have a, even if you don't use Twitch, go over there and make an account and follow me. I'd be so happy. But anyway, it's enough begging. Let's get back to the race. Fancy style point, here we go. Style points. So, it sounds good, it drives good. But we need to look. See what kind of upgrades it has. I know already what this car's gonna be like, but we you know, we, we, we look at it anyway. Um So it has a lot of upgrades. But as far as looks, it only has this ugly junk. Yeah, I don't like any of that. Um Got all your normal stuff, tire width, lettering, all that. Just not very much customization. So, um, I think it's time to throw it on the list. So where are we going to put the, uh, the, uh, Cobra R? R, R. Put the Cobra R. Where are we going to put it on our tier list? Um, internet, let's get on my, so I can look at the tier list. Alright. So, I want to put this like, A, maybe, B, it's just, it performs good. But the customization ain't there. And so I think my 2000s whatever Mustangs are letting me down. Uh, it has to go on B. I don't want to put it on B. Oh. 
Well, let's see. Now we gotta decide which car next. Well, I guess since they're doing race spec cars and stuff, let let's let's do the uh, the '93 Cobra R now. All right, here we go. Big two. Here we go. So now let's see. We're going to do the 93 Cobra R now. 93 Cobra R. Um, oh, I need to fix one thing too. We are... We are going too slow. Okay, here we go. 93. And... You're going to be surprised. I'll show you. This car has some upgrades, but I am not downgrading it. For one particular reason. And for those of you who know, you know. If you don't, you don't. So this is what we're going to drive next. So... It's kind of the same thing, the racing spec thing. I believe the 93 uh, Cobra R was uh, was the uh, first one to do. To do the spec racing thing and street car thing. And I had to paint it up like this. And if you know, you know. You know why this is so special. Uh, we have a, uh, a 93 convertible Mustang and I would pull it up but I don't think I can get it up behind me the green screens blocking it but I have a big picture in the wall and yeah it's this is paint just like it you know I raise money for the muscular dystrophy association I do a big car show every year and MDA's color is blue and everyone's like that's a weird choice for the side of the car having a blue stripe split everything up but uh, that's what it represents and that's why it's so special so if you want to know what my personal car looks like, uh, here, this is, gives you a good example. And if you check me out on my socials, you can see more of it. Anyway, let's take this thing out for a drive. Figure out what kind of race we want to do with it. I think I know what race we want to do already. And I have this thing built the way I'd want our car built. Like, if we had unlimited money, this car is basically built. Like, it has a supercharger, cam, exhaust. That's about all I did to it. I want to keep it pretty realistic. I think it's making, like, 500 some more. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> I don't think it passes the sound test, though. Yeah. It just doesn't quite have the sound I would suspect. But we're going to do a race down here. Yeah, this is the one. We want to do that one, that one. Yeah, let's do this one. So let's see how this thing drives. A studio circuit. It sounds good when it idles. Victoria was a spoiler. What do you know? We got a Viper. And we're just gapping. Look at this thing go. It drives it drives good because not too much horsepower. It don't just blow its tires off completely every time. Look at Oh, I give it about a nine on driving. We just left him in the dust. Oh, 
Oh, it sounds pretty good. I missed the checkpoint. Driver error. Okay, a little bit of hand pour out there. There's a lot of slowing down and gassing it. I love the interiors in this game. They got the interior down. We missed a nerd checkpoint. That's like what I'm good at. It drives good. Yeah, I say that and it snaps on me. I'm enjoying this car. I wonder why. <laughs> we missed every checkpoint in this race. Frustration levels, rising. It's not the car's fault. So yeah, the driving is relatively good. Um, I just like the car, period. So I have a thing for Fox Bodies, and it kind of helps it move up the list a little bit. I think. One more lap to go, though. If I can not hit walls and just, uh, yeah, this car it took me several days to get it to look like our personal car. This looks really good. <laughs> Maybe next time Forrest and Cora are around we can get them a ride in our car. I did it again! I did it again! It's not the car's fault. I promise I'm not trying to just give it the benefit of the doubt. It's really not its fault. I'm gonna figure out how to do this quicker. Well, many, many skill issues. That wasn't very good. On my part. <laughs> I have the difficulty turned down so low, too. I don't win the sound test, but it doesn't mean it don't sound good. So let's let's go back. We're just talking about the customization real quick, and we're moving on to the next car because we're running out of time. Oh, outburst. Okay, here we go. Upgrades. So it has its engine swaps. Oh my god, it was LS swapped. I just committed a sin. You don't put an LS engine in a Mustang. No Chevy engines in the Mustang. But yeah, not much customization. Well, I say that. Oh my goodness, there is customization. 
Servini. I got ugly wing. I stand corrected. Whoa. Lots of hit options. This thing is sick. It is killing it. So, I think it's time to put it on the list. Let's put it on the list. Here we go, list. Alright, here we go. So, I think it's pretty obvious where I'm going to put it. No objections? No objections. That's what I like about my chat. There's never an objection. S tier. Yes. Okay, so what car are we doing next? Do we want to go... I guess the next two cars kind of go with each other. Let's do the GT350. No, we've done three Mustangs. So let's do let's let's do the Ford GT. So Ford GT is the next car we're gonna hit up. Man, I'm really loving the way this stream is going. If I could just get some more followers on Twitch, please follow me on Twitch. Okay, so that is S tier. So, Ford GT. Um. My cars. Now. Here's something I didn't think about. So. This is about my favorite. Ford cars. And. We got the new Ford GT. I got a gray one and a blue one. But the old Ford GT. I don't know. I guess we have to do the new one since it's on my list. But I think I actually prefer the 05 one. But let's, let's jump into my stock one. That way we get good feel about drugs. Now, this car here. I do gotta explain a little bit. So, you know, Ford back in the 60s won Le Mans. They beat Ferrari. Uh, if you watch me, Ford vs. Ferrari, it's all about that. And so, uh, in 2005, they decided to do a tribute of that car. And so they built the 2005 Ford GT. And it looks like, it looks like a, uh, like the old race car from the 60s. Well, they built that for two, three years, maybe? Limited production, and then they stopped. But it wasn't that hard to get. I mean, if you had the money, you could go buy one. Well, in 2016, they uh, they were working on a car in the background. And no one knew about it. And they released the new Ford GT. Out of the blue, they didn't, they didn't show it off. They didn't talk about it. They kept it under wraps real good. And so this car come out. And what Ford didn't tell everyone initially is that they're going to use it as a race car and they're going to beat Ferrari again with it. And so Ford took it to the race and beat Ferrari again. It was so epic. And so uh, so in order to get the Ford GT initially, you had to send Ford a video explaining why you're, why you thought you could buy this car. And Ford wanted to make sure you drive it and you don't sell it and all that stuff. So it was very hard to get. And they've actually made it for quite a few years. I think they recently stopped. I don't know. But yeah, uh, that was a hard car to get. Very special car. So let's, let's take it out and see how it races.
Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to bring up. People are salty when this car come out because it has a EcoBoost V6 engine with some massive turbos, and they're like, it's a V6, it's small, it's not gonna go fast, it doesn't sound good. Ford built a dang good sounding car. They built a dang good sounding car, and it's plenty fast. So, I would say they killed it with this 700 and 600 and whatever horsepower monster they built. Hmm. I wonder. If that might work. We need some straights. Let's do this one. I think this one might have some straights. By the way, if you're watching me on uh, Switch, please give me a follow. I don't care if you never watch me again, but I'm trying to get up to 50 followers. I'm at 23 right now. Uh, trying to work on getting an affiliate with uh, Switch. I'd really love to do that. I bet you are. You missed a little bit, but... Yep, here we go. By the way, I know who you are. <laughs> Holy crap! It's fast. Oh my god, it's fast. This LFA in front of me needs to move. So, my driving uh, thoughts so far is it's fast and it has a lot of power going to the rear wheels. Move! Okay, we're good. Lots of power. The active arrow is pretty interesting. The only thing I don't like about the active arrow is it's not downforce all the time. So that makes it hard. Here we go. Hauling it. I'm trying not to look at chat. Kicking rear. Go, go, go. It's like my power trap. Go, go, go into my hover. Oh, it drives so good. And it's so fast. I don't even have uh, the competition behind me no more. So, one of the funny things about the Ford GT that they make fun of all the time is look at the back of it. Tell me that does not look like an Angry Birds pig. It looks like a freaking Angry Birds pig from the back. That's just so it just does. Seventy percent. I don't even know why I'm worried. They're way back there. I said I have a massive crash. Whoa. I look at that chat. I don't even know what what we're talking about. No more. I've lost my train of thought. Here we go, hauling it. We'll get some good style points at the end of this race. Here we go. Style points. Style points killed it. That was a fast car right there. Good night. That was the perfect track for it, too. So 
So now let's head back again and see what kind of customization there is. We're having to move through the customization part relatively quickly because if I want to make it by the time my stream is supposed to end. We'll see. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Oh, that's Mario, not Angry Birds. Okay. Uh, upgrades and tuning. So the main thing we're concerned about is the arrow stuff. And yes, you can do crap like that to it. And you can do all the regular stuff, but there's just really not that much customization, so. So I guess it's time to throw it on the chart. I think it does really good racing. It's really fast. It has a cool story, but the customization just isn't there. So uh, here we go. We'll put it up there. Here, where's my tier list? Okay, so I can control it. So I think it did good, but I think A. It just doesn't have the customization I'd want. Um, so let's do a car that was made alongside it. Let's do the GT350R. The best sounding car, I think, in the world. GT350R. Move over, LFA. Get out of my way, Carrera GT. It's the best sounding car ever. So let's see. Let's go find the GT350R. Aye, aye, Captain. I don't know why Nightbot's doing that. I did not ask for it to, to, uh, to give warnings about caps. Okay, here we go. I am sorry about that, everybody. I, I want to do it next time. I'll make sure. And like I said, if you're watching on Twitch, please give me a follow if you're not already. I am trying to get to 50, 50 followers eventually. I know he got mad at you for caps. I don't know. You're like the fourth person tonight that have had problems. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, you're the third person tonight. So GT350R. So we're going to have to uh, get this thing back to stockish. Just so it's. Loading up. Now we'll see what it drives like. And by the way, this paint job on this car is kind of me advertising for late mall restoration. Uh, a car, uh, they sell parts for late model Mustangs near the area and uh, they come to my car show and help with that a lot every year. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it looks good. Why did I have all that crap on it? It looks so much better stock. Okay, here we go. Best sounding car in the game. Or in the world. <laughs> Alright, that sounds really good. You know this car, what it deserves? It deserves to come down here. Sound test time. <laughs> it's just so intense. It revs to the moon. I have already touched it. It sounds so awesome. It don't sound very good from the interior. Uh, okay. It 
can take some for days. Okay, that's good enough. Let's get to a race. That's what this car is built for. But, for some reason I feel like it'd be good in a street race. <laughs> Even though it's supposed to be in for a track. Because you know people be street racing these things. Yeah, okay. I think this track will be good and open. I can open the car up a little bit. Oh, we got some slow marrows in this race. So no traction control once again. We're still doing that. Bye bye, slow marrow. Get on my way. By the way, if it looks like a win too easy, I have like a difficulty turned down pretty far. Some people want a challenge. I just ain't that good, honestly. So I, I just like keeping it easy and not too hard. You know, it kind of makes for a boring race sometimes. It drives good. Take that uh, new Mustang they added and turn the driving up even farther. It sounds. voice crack. It sounds better than uh, the new one. It drives better than the new one. Very surprising car. I might turn the difficulty up for the next race. This is just too easy. I've still 23 followers on Twitch. Where are you at? Go bulk with the with the subscribers that you promised. Alright. Oh yeah, this this distracts a good one. No! Oh no, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, I did a Mustang thing. A Mustang is always going to find its roots. I realize I didn't say much about this car. There ain't much to say other than it's the first Mustang with a flat plane crank V8 allowing it to rev at over 8,000 RPM. Yeah, over 8. So, I think it's like 8200, and that's what gives it that crazy sound. Oh my goodness, it's like it never ships. Well, that was fun. It drives good, it looks good. And one more thing to look at. I don't know if we're gonna get through this tier list. Okay, here we go. Take a look at the upgrades really quick. Whew. All this race got my all this racing got my adrenaline up. I don't know if that's a good thing. For you it goes you don't know. I could get defibrillated, and that's not a fun thing to think about. Okay. Um, so it has all the normal stuff. But, so you can go here. And you're like, oh, it's a pretty tame Mustang. And then, boom! It looks like that now. And then you got the... You can put the big rear wing on it. Yeah. And boom, you got yourself a crazy looking Stang. So, 
customization is up there. So let's put this car on the list. We are working our way through this list as quickly as I can possibly do it. Hopefully not having a part two. Okay, here we go. Um, we need to go, a oh man, tier list. Here y'all go, and then I'll pull it up on my end, and we can take a look. A tier, easy, yeah, I think so. What's hard is, it has really good, really good customization. It drives really good, but I'm not sure if I like it enough to be S tier. But... I mean, it just it just can't go lower, I don't think. I think it draws way too good to not be S tier. That means my, it's going to be harder and harder for me to decide. Okay, what are we doing next? So we did the race cars. So we can do... Let's do another off-road car. We haven't done an off-road car in a minute. So we're going to get the hit up the... The Bronco Raptor, I think, is next. So let's go. Man, I got myself all bubbled over here. There we go. So here we go. We're gonna hit the uh, hit up the uh, Bronco R. My cards. And I don't think I'm gonna detune this one. I kind of have it built the way I want, so, uh, it's Ford, it's not, it's not Bronco brand. Even though, uh, two days ago, it was probably, it probably had something to do with orange juice two days ago. That was an interesting day a couple days ago. I don't know how I feel about that day. Alright, here we go. There it is. We'll take a look at it and we'll take it out for an off-road race. Oh. oh, there's Forza Vista. Uh, okay, there's one upgrade run up to do this thing because it's kind of unfair. I have a freaking V8 in this thing and that's not what came in these things. Get the V6 back in there. And we'll go and give it all the horsepower that the other one had. Because it's heavy now. Faster. Some cams. Breaths higher now. Get some valves and a bigger engine block and all the goodies. I don't think we want anti-lag on this thing. I think it would just be weird to be popping and banging all over the place. Okay. i say good enough. Really, it's not that much less horsepower with the stock engine. By the way, I'm gonna just keep saying it. If you're on Twitch, please give me a follow even if you don't watch me ever again. I'm trying to get to 50 followers, and I'm willing to do it at whatever it takes. I'm at 23. If I can get to 25, that would be awesome. So we need something good. Something on the coast. Oh, yeah. All... All right, here we go. Dirt. Cross country. All right. No... That'll work. I like dirt races because there's walls. <laughs> Versus cross country. The Baja Trail. I didn't turn the difficulty up. Oh, I think I still got time. It was pretty exciting when this thing came to the game. I know the new Bronco come out, and everyone was like, 
there needs to be a raptor version. There needs to be a raptor version. And and uh it just begged and begged. And Ford already had it up their sleeve and gave us a raptor version. So here we go, a raptor version of the new Bronco. Probably the coolest car that Ford has built in a long time because it's so different. It's so good at off-roading. I just love this thing ever since it came out. Even though it has a pretty terrible crash test for you. But what do you expect? It, it's good. It, it's not very structural. And you mainly buy it for fun anyway. You probably should get one of these for a daily driver. I would not recommend as a daily driver. So, its capabilities are pretty good. It's handling these bumps really good. It's fast. Oh, I handle that jump good. So I think driving is there. It definitely drives really good. Smooth. It's silky smooth. It's kind of absorbing all those bumps. It could be a little faster. And I could drive a little better. Well, I forgot I turned the difficulty up too. Definitely more, um, why don't I look? No! I miss. Well, this is basically, if you want a Raptor, you can take your whole family in, here you go. This is what you need on the coast to drive on the beaches. I could just see it living in Texas, driving down the beach in Galveston. It'd be so cool. I can only imagine having one of these on the Gulf Coast. You can carry all your fishing poles. You can tow a boat. You can carry your whole family. Just don't drive it on the road all the time. Like it's not a road trip car, I wouldn't say. But you can throw some GoPros on it. That'd be sick. That'd be the life right there. <laughs> I knew I would make you sick. Go, 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 go! Oh, we got room, we got room. Go, horsepower, horsepower. Go! Second place, not bad. For turning the difficulty up. Oh. Anyway, uh, we're gonna kind of start 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 skipping the customization part. Uh, a lot of these cars we're looking at now, uh, I've seen, and I can tell you this car has really good customization. And just you remove the doors and the roof, and you put all kinds of stuff on it. So I guess it's time to see where to put it. Let's see, where are we gonna put the Bronco Raptor on my list? Get my, oh, come on keyboard, okay. I, I use mini keyboards, uh, so I have to reach for it. Um, here's the uh, tier list for everyone. Yeah. So this one, I think I'm gonna go with B, even though it drives really good. I'm just not the off-road type, and it just doesn't have the V8 like that one, and it's not street, so I guess B. Uh, I hate to put it there, but we gotta leave room. So we got that out of the way. Let's do, um, let's do something controversial. 
Let's get into a controversial vehicle, everyone. Controversial vehicle time. And I made it extra controversial. Just so you know. I made it worse. Okay. Ford. Fjord. So. Let's talk about this truck. So, the lightning came out, we'll do the old one and make it remember what year, uh, came out in the 90s or initially, and then they made a 2000s one with a supercharger, and the lightning was always a performance truck. It cornered, had two doors, it could do fat burnouts, it was really cool. Well, Ford teased the lightning. And everyone was like, yes, new lightning. And then they said, it's going to be electric. And people lost their mind. They said it's going to have all this horsepower. It's going to be this quick, but it's going to be electric. And people couldn't believe Ford gave us an electric lightning. And so that was really controversial. Well, I decided to make it into a street truck. And I'm like, what if Carroll Shelby customized an electric vehicle? And so I did this. I have been getting... I, I can't drive to car shows. I can't do anything like that. They say I have to take the Shelby emblem off. They say it doesn't belong. And it needs to go. And Shelby would never do an electric vehicle. Fun fact though. They did in a, a uh, package on the Mach-E. The Mustang Mach-E. And so I'm not that far off. So, so I built a street truck out of it, and I gave it 900 horsepower. So, we're going to do a street race with a 900 horsepower, electric, 8,000 pound truck. Let's go. It's going to be, this is going to be awesome. So we need a road race. Too bad I don't have a Ranger on my thing. But I got an electric F-150 for you that we're going to drive on a racetrack that weighs 8,000 pounds and the 0 to 60 in like 3 seconds. <laughs> oh, this is going to be painful. <laughs> we're running out of time, everyone. We're gonna only have to do like two more vehicles and then we'll have to start throwing things on the list. Based on my uh, previous experiences in this game. We got a dually and a road race. This is such a bad idea. I don't know why I do this to myself. For entertainment only. It's not like a dang spaceship. So yeah, pretty controversial truck. But you know, the Tesla Cybertruck re recently come out. And this is so much better than the Tesla Cybertruck. I don't care who tells you otherwise. I would drive a Ford Lightning over a Cybertruck any day of the week. It's, it'd be my electric truck of choice. I don't care about the Rivian. I don't care about the Cybertruck. So... This is, I don't care about the Hummer EV. It's a dumb vehicle the Hummer EV is. It's cool, but it's dumb. Speaking of Rangers, no, it's a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes. I don't even, there's a Ranger in this game. This thing is good. Why does it drive so good? It drives really good. Man, 
first place is rubber banding. Rubber banding. The thing I deal with this dude is Toyota, I think. No, it's Nissan. You gotta deal with the Titan back here. Oh, the Titan is coming. That's a pretty cool truck in this game. You know, it's funny, I've never driven the Titan in this game. I have 600 cars in this game, and I just can't drive them all. By the way, they're uh, saying that uh, Forza Horizon 6 might be out the end of this year, or next year even. They say this one's lived its lifespan. Uh, it's coming up on its three-year anniversary, I believe next month. And so, rumor has it that uh, the new game is coming out. Some of the larger uh, Forza YouTubers, such as AR12, are uh, saying that the new game's coming. Uh, AR12 and uh, oh, who's that one dude I watch a lot? Uh, Eric Ship Triple One. So I don't think we're getting first place, but this handle this track really good. I've been talking and talking. I'm trying to talk over that. Oh, voice crack. Trying to talk over that electric power train so you don't have to listen to it. I'm sure me blabbing is more entertaining than the electric motor. I'm so glad this thing's upgraded. Go, go, go! It's just so heavy. I hit the brakes and it just goes into a wall. <laughs> Man, all that talking makes your voice tired. Okay, here we go. So, I guess we gotta put that one on the list. <laughs> and, it just, it did too good. I'm sorry, peeps. I don't think it's gonna be as low on the list as you guys hope. It's just sacrilege. That's so good in this game. Now... I do think it's going to be kind of low on the list, just because I don't think there's much you can do with it. Uh, there's some camping gear you can put on the back and stuff, but I think C. It's just not, it just doesn't excite me enough. Um, let's see, what car do I want to do next? We got to be careful now. We got to see which ones we really want to test here. And I think... I think uh, all uh, Fast and Furious is getting their chance now. So let's go back. Okay. So, next on the chopping block is the previous Lightning. The good one. The best one. The best Lightning ever. Well, I don't know. The first generation ones are pretty cool. But they didn't really get that performance thing until the second gen. And I say that like there's way more after it. Basically the second gen is the only sporty one. There's the Ranger by the way. <coughs> it's not on my list because it's not up there as one of my just all time favorites. But it's a pretty good vehicle. Uh, where are you at? What, what am I, oh yeah, Lightning. So I built one that looks fast and furious, but that one's not very uh, good for this. It's tuned beyond belief. 
So here's another car I designed with um, some LMR logos. Uh, late mall restoration, powered by enthusiasts. I got that on both doors. And a very special friend of mine has a white one. So, pretty sick. But let's get in this thing and see what it can do. I think we'll do... This might be the last car that I can actually drive for you guys. But... Let's take this one on the track. Or street racing, I think. I think you'd see this in a street race. So... Um... Let's do this one just because I haven't done it before. So, I pictured this. You drive it, you work, and you tow your trailer and whatever you do with the truck. And then at night, you can use that same truck and kick some rear on the streets. I don't condone street racing, but that's my uh, movie magic thinking right there. The sound isn't there. I'd say the sound's not there. Move! Uh, my Viking board. Here we go. Ah! Almost died. Turn, 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 turn. Oh no! It's too light in the back. There's not no weight in the back. It's not like the light thing where there's a heavy battery and electric motor. And why are we racing this semi truck? Why? Why, Forza? And then I wasn't paying attention. I'm just playing Wrecking Crew out here. So they're driving. It's like a four. It's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. We just ain't doing no good with this thing. Killing it. Corner like a champ through there, luckily. I see him learn my breaking. They don't break very good. If you're watching on Twitch, please give me a follow. I greatly appreciate it. I want to hit 25 followers tonight. So, uh, even if you don't watch me again, at least give me a follow. I'd be, uh, super ecstatic. Head down. Concentration. Concentration's not happening. Good night. Yeah. Almost there. I got it. Well, that was interesting to say the least. So, I think we're about to just have to speedrun fill in the list in. Oh, give me something good, give me something good. No! $5,000 in this game is nothing. Uh, 
Um, let's head back here. And jump in the Mustang and we'll uh, fill in our list and discuss our findings. Um... So, let's go back to our tier list. We don't have time to test out any more cars, but we will fill this in here. Oh yeah, y'all need to see it too. There we go. Alright, here we go. So, after driving that, I would say C. It just didn't do as good as I thought. Um, then we got the RTR Mustang, which drives really good, but I think it'd probably fit in around A. Um, we got the Boss 302. Um, I'd say B, because I really like it, but it's not that great in this game. Uh, here's one of my favorite Shelby Mustangs, the uh, 2000... 10, what is it? Uh, GT500. And I think A tier. Then we got the drift cars. Which there's not that much customization. They just don't do that good. So I think both the drift cars, Chelsea Denofa and Von Gittin, need to go at the bottom. I just don't think they do good. We got the uh, 71, 2, 3, uh, Mach 1, I think C. Uh, we got the, uh, all-time great, uh, actual GT40, and it just, it just has to go at the top. Um, then we got, uh, the, uh, Lariat F-150, which this isn't a Lariat model, but my grandpa owns one that's the same year, so I'd use his truck. And it has good customization, and it's kind of rare in the game, so I would say C-Class. And then we got the SVO Mustang, which is really cool. It's a special car, but with its V6 and turbos and not that much performance, I think D. And and in A class, we'll drop the GT500. So that's where we'll put it. So now we got four choices for my for the best Ford. We got the Raptor R. The Cobra R, GT350R, and the GT40. And I think I'm just have to go with my gut feeling. Man, it's just so close between the GT40 and the Fox Body. Since we have a Fox Body. So I would say the Fox Body. It just has to be my favorite. I just love Fox Body so much. So that's where... So I think that is the best Ford in the game. It's the one I've driven the most, I have the most hours in. I think it's my most driven car in the game. So I think that has to be my favorite. And um, it was so much fun doing all these races and stuff uh, with everyone. Um, I do want to plug my stuff real quick. Uh, I run a group called uh, Project Maynard Sting. I use it to raise money, awareness, uh, have fun and stuff with people battling muscle disease and I do a car show every year and it raises money for this uh, if you want uh, please follow me everywhere uh, all the tags will be at the end of this thing so follow me everywhere and uh, please follow me on Twitch I really am trying to get going there and hit me up on discord I don't have very many people on discord and I would love the game with you guys so jump on Discord and we can play either Xbox or PC gaming. So jump on there and then you can talk about whatever you want. But uh, anyway, uh, I think my stream is going to start coming to an end now. I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, join me on Wednesday. I got a wild idea. Um, one of my friends might be on there with me. 
maybe two if I can get him to download the game. And we'll do that. But uh, I better get off. I'm starting to lose my voice. And I appreciate you all for being here. So I'll see you next time. And have a good night everyone. Woo!